have a monkey in your pants? Alright then folks, MonkeySpaz5000 here and I was sent something very recently by a um, nice chap called Nathan over at Dark River Gaming. Derp, 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 derp. He's a guy that does modded consoles basically, but primarily modded Xbox original consoles. I done a video on one of these um, a little while back, um, running CoinUp Six. Um, I showed you how it go, how it ran, etc. And that was actually purchased from Dark River Gaming at the time. And he got in touch with me and says, "Hey, Monkey Spaz, I've got an updated version of this. I'll send you one for review." And I was like, "Okay, thank you very much." So I've had a little while now. I've had a little bit of play with it. Um, and for you, those of you out there who are not sure what an Xbox looks like. This is one. It's not the one he sent me. This is my spare one, if you like. But basically, CoinOps is a front end, if you like, for a multi-emulator environment. It's probably the best way to explain it. It's got a whole pile of, pile of different systems on it. Um, I will look at my phone to read them out. Um, I will show you in the video as well. But it has Amiga. Amstrad, we don't like Amstrad's around here, sorry Nova Bug. Atari 2600, 5200, 7800, Lynx, ST, XL, ColecoVision, Commodore 64, DOS, Game Gear, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color and Television, LaserDisc support, Master System, Mega CD, Mega Drive, MSX, NES, Nintendo 64, PC Engine, PC Engine CD, PlayStation, Sega, SG-1000, Spectrum, Super Nintendo, Vic20, Virtual Boy, Wonders 1, X68000 and Xbox. Wow! That's a fuck ton. But basically what it is, um, like I say, it's a front end. Um, most of the systems on there have got complete ROM sets. Uh, oh, that's, maybe I shouldn't say so complete, but all the games, as far as I'm aware, for like some Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, and stuff like that. So it's really, really good. Um, another thing is, it runs a component, 720p, so you can use it on modern televisions, use the original Xbox um, controllers, you can get arcade sticks, you can use that for the MAME side of it for example, use safe states as well, but it's really handy I suppose for those people out there who want to replay these old games, don't have rooms for all the consoles, don't have an emulator on a computer, don't have the means to fund a large collection as such and it's convenient, you can just take it away and you've got a whole back catalogue of nostalgic history in a little box I suppose, but it's really really good. Um, the last one I got of Dark River Gaming, um, I gave it to a friend of mine actually, um, and he's he, he loves it. It's absolutely absolutely amazing. It's such a great thing. But like I say, I'll I'll look at my notes very briefly in in amongst this little waffle. The main part of it will be showing you the um, the console itself, I suppose, and and how it works, and um, so you get an idea of exactly what it is. But like I say I'll put a link to Dark River Gaming's. Facebook page down below. He was kind enough to send me a review unit, which is much appreciated. Um, he does sell these on. Um, people may have certain views with regards to piracy, selling ROM, selling coin up seven, etc. That's your choice to have those opinions. I'm not arsed. I'm just telling you that it's available, and if it's something that you're interested in, um, you can certainly pick one up from Dark River Gaming. Um, it's running coin up seven R two. Is what it is. Um, it always keeps them updated as well. But basically, what it is, it's a soft mod for the Xbox. Um, larger hard drives put in, coin ops is put on it, all the ROMs. Um, it also gives you the ability to play um, backup Xbox games as well, if you know what I'm saying. One of the main differences I'll say between the last one that I had was coin up 6 and this one is coin up 7. Um, apparently the file structure of the hard drive or the system has been changed slightly from CoinUp 6 to CoinUp 7 um, and it means that it's a lot smoother to go through the menu systems is, is the only thing I'll say is CoinUp 6, um, the last one I had I noticed if you changed game on the menu screen the music would stop it at load, it'd have a thing but it's certainly a lot more smoother, a lot more fluid um, and it's got, obviously it's got all those systems on it as well and it, it's got over 13,000 different games on it so it's like, do you know what I mean? It's like a world of, you never need to buy another game, I suppose. If you just, in retro games, it's it's your fix if um, you don't mind emulation rather than playing on real hardware. So I said, guy, um, Dark River Gaming is the person that sent me this. I will put a link down below the Facebook page. The chap's name is Elliot. Um, pricing for these as well, fairly decent. Um, it'll do £35 if you send him a unit an Xbox um, refurb, 
£55 for the modded Xbox alone, pretty cool. £65 for a machine with cables and a controller. It's an extra £6 on top of that if you wanted 720p in component cables. And if you wanted a crystal Xbox, one of those see-through jobbies, it's an extra £10 on top of that as well. But like I say, a big thank you to Elliot Dark River Gaming for sending me this over. Absolute, it is pretty cool. It's amazing. It's quite impressive what they've done um, or what the people behind this have managed to do. Um, and for Elliot, Elliot to do the process, etc., it's it's quite handy, certainly, if you're not capable of doing it yourself. And I think, personally, it's reasonably priced. I'm not biased because, although I did get sent one for review, I actually bought one from him prior to this, if that even makes sense. So, I say, guys, we'll now jump over to the actual, have a look at the Xbox as well. The last video I done it was composite video feed so it didn't look very good this is component 720p looks nice crystal clear all the links etc will be in the description box down below to, to go over to dark river game and check them out top guy excellent machine and now let's go over and have a look at the actual console itself i'll cycle through all the different systems that you do get on this um, so you've got arcade you've got amiga glorious amiga amstrad filthy amstrad sorry i am a spectrum fan oh nice lady, Atari 2600, Atari 7800, ooh, now it's not got a 5200, I wonder if the games are included in one of these, but to be fair, you're probably not missing much, Atari Lynx, great little system, um, and I suppose it's good to play the, be able to play the games on your big screen as well, um, Atari ST, yeah, that's a Oh, it's only got one Atari ST game, actually. Interesting. There may be a reason for that. I don't know if this sole Atari ST game works not. International Crack, if it does work, it doesn't bring up the, the video for whatever reason. Atari XL, a system I've never played. Ooh. Maybe I should have played it. That looks reasonable, actually. Right, um, you've got classic games, which are some of your classic PC DOS games. I think off the top of my head, I can see Doom, Doom 2. Now these run um, DOS box, I think. Um, some of them work well, some of them don't work too well. Oh, look, Doom Goldeneye, Final Doom, Heretic. I love all these old school sort of games, but certainly Doom runs and plays amazingly well. I think um, it's Descent, I don't know if it's still on this one, but I remember I'm going up 6 and it didn't run very well. That's classic. We've got ColecoVision. At that ColecoVision. So I'll go through all these and then I'll play maybe a couple of games very quickly on each system just to give you a flavour of how the emulation runs on it. Commodore 64, filthy Commodore 64. It's not a Spectrum, is it? You can tell I'm a Spectrum fan. DOS games. These are the games that I was on about. Um, DOS box games. Some of them work well, some of them not so well. I think it's just the nature of the whole DOS box kind of thing. Obviously, we're running the Xbox. Game Gear, uh, the glorious Game Boy, really good being able to play these games on a big screen. Game Boy Advance, awesome. Game Boy Color, Master System, Mega CD, pretty cool having Mega CD, Mega Drive, Mega 32X, Mega 32X, why did I say that? The 32X Mega Drive, MSX, system I've always been interested in, don't know much about it. Neo Geo Pocket, the good old NES, N64, a lot of the games do run fine that are on this, um, PC Engine, PC Engine CD, there you go, classic game right there, PlayStation, now there's not that many PlayStation games on it, although do you need any other games other than Symphony of the Night, that is a question, um, apparently the PlayStation emulation isn't really too great on it, I don't know if it's a problem with the 3D side of it or what, but certainly the couple of games that are on it do work really well. Um, Sega SG-1000, Spectrum. Now my complaint is there's not enough Spectrum games on it. I'll quickly, I'll show you how the menu system works as well in a second. Super Nintendo, lovely. So for all your very common sort of systems, SNES, Mega Drive, Mass System, Game Gear, Game, Gear, Game Boy, um, Atari Lynx, all those, basically as far as I'm aware, all the games that are available. The Vic-20, there you go. Virtual Boy. I don't know why the Virtual Boy is music, but never mind. Wonder Swan. I don't remember seeing that one. 
Point of six. I may be mistaken. Interesting. The X sixty eight thousand. And there's a couple of Xbox classic games on it. Um, Black, Crazy Taxi, Halo, etc, etc. I think that's it, so back to Arcade. Um, so we'll, we'll have a flick through how the menu system works. I'll go to the settings actually very, very briefly. Um, if I can press the right button. A lot of this stuff I'm not going to touch, but you can see there what you can do. Change the themes, change the screen size, tells you what the buttons are. Etc. You go into settings, these are I suppose where you'd want to have a look the most. Um, skin type, you've got that, you've got the background sounds, videos, what else is other really important thing. The other thing there is the video smoothing. You can have it on or off, with it off it's quite pixelated I feel, so I like to have it left on. Aspect ratio correction, because obviously it tries to stretch a lot of the games, um, and I'm not going to go into advanced settings and obviously you can also put on arcade scanline intensity which is quite nice if you're playing sort of arcade classic games on a modern TV because it makes it look like it's on a CRT TV. So to go through the menu um, you basically L or R trigger the more you press it in the quicker the scroll and you can mark favourite games like so it takes a sweet second to mark the favourite games and then you go into your favourites list and it's got your favourite games there which is quite handy. And obviously with it being an emulation you also have got the convenience of using save states where some games may not originally offer um, saving facilities. You can, if your mum shouts on you and your tea's ready you can save the game, go and eat your tea, da da da. So I'll play maybe a couple of games of each system just to give you an idea of how the emulation works. A lot of the emulators you can press it back and select on the controller and it will exit out. Um, there is the odd one or the odd game I've noticed where you actually just have to reset the Xbox itself. But there you go, that's it loading up there. Just doing a little um, ROM check, malarkey. And I can't remember for the life of me how you put a credit in. So I'll have to figure that one out myself when it starts. But it's an ideal way to play all these games, all these different systems on a modern TV if you've not got the space for all the consoles or if you've not got the means to collect the games. Right, what's credit? No. There we go.
Do you have a monkey in your pants? <laughs> <laughs>